hello guys welcome back so today this is the continuation of the last video on how to cut a short gown with pleating so here i've already cut out my lining i've already hired my wording to the half length and everything is cut already so the next thing is just to begin sewing so i'll start with the half length sewing and that will be the bustier part yes the bustier part so I will make sure I arrange everything so that I will not make mistakes. So I will first of all make sure I, I arrange it well. So that's what I will just be doing here. So you know I will first of all sew the I will first of all sew the fabric before sewing the line lining. So after arranging it, you just have to just go ahead and pin it down. You know to secure it so as not to make any mistake or anyhow to just make the sewing more easier so here i've already sewed the actual fabric and i've already ironed my seam line so it's already looking beautiful you can already see that it's giving it the wording is actually giving it that old hand you know form already so this is it. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go ahead and join my lining as well. The same way I join my actual fabric. So this is the lining. I'll make sure I just you know, arrange it and sew it like I did for the actual fabric as well. So this is it. So the next thing is to, you know, attach the lining to the fabric with the right side facing each other. Don't forget the right side facing each other. So I'll go ahead and sew the neckline, the side, and as well I'll be attaching my lining to the to the rest of the fabric here, like the skirt, the back half length, and the rest. I'll just make sure. I do it nicely and I'll press it down. So this is it after after fixing the lining and pressing it like pressing it with iron. And I've already hold my that at necessary places like the back that is already there. The skate part is already there. So this is the back half length. So you can already see they're already looking beautiful. So this is the back skirt. You can see the half half inches i told you about why odin for the bump part is already here because after removing the another one another half inches of odin the lining is already looking i've already would like one inches like that because i told you earlier i did not actually put extra um extra what's it called extra allowance to my zipper place so the next thing is for me to attach my front the half length to the skirt for the front so I made sure that while holding my dart for the front is actually aligned with the dart on the bustier. Yes, I don't. I want it to be aligned. So I'll go ahead and do that to the back to holding my, making sure that I'm not making mistake of interchanging the half lengths. So I'll just note that and I'll go ahead and see it. So this is the back pattern. Yeah, already. So I've already joined my the half lengths to the skirt part. So like I said while cutting that I didn't actually remove the half inches from the half length like for the bulge for the zipper part you know, to not cause that bulges and everything at the back. I didn't actually remove it from the half length. So why sewing why sewing my my zipper? I will make sure that I follow the skirts the skirts line, not the half length line because and I hold down my zipper with one and a half inches because after removing half from two it will remain one and a half you can see that it's already the zipper is already fixed here and it's kind of coffee so that's when the person wear it it will sit on her bum so um this is the front pattern i've already attached the i've already showed the half length together with the skirt so the remaining thing is to join the side and the shoulder part of the of the of the clothes so i'll just hold down like the my allowance 
I think af the allowance I had it was two inches. So after holding my lining, it remained one and a half inches. So that's what I'll do. I'll just attach one and a half inches. I will, I'm sorry. I will sew by one. I will sew it by one and a half inches. I'll join my my shoulder with half inches, and I'll go ahead and attach my everything the the sleeve the pleating and i'll do that soon so basically that's all for the sewing part of the of the gown so here is the final look i already attached the the sleeve i've already attached the pleating as well so the sleeve i just added it like i just put a ribbon for the sleeve and the skirt parts i just use the ribbon to you know to to turn the the pleat parts so that you just give it a kind of you know different look apart from everything should just be the fabric so far the person does not actually want anything like he doesn't want any any external fabric <laughs> yeah so so this is the final look this is it this is the gown the final look like everything is set and our gown is ready so guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel subscription is free guys make sure that you hit that subscription button bye bye